Hi, my name's Paul Grimmond, and I thought I'd just take a moment or two to talk to you a little bit about a new book that I've written called Right Side Up. Uh, I want to take some time to talk to you about what's in it, uh, who it's for, uh, and why I would encourage you to take it, read it yourself, and give it away to other people. Um, the idea for the book kind of came about when Matthias Media, the publishing company, approached me to ask me to write something. Although, as we sat down and talked about it, we weren't quite sure what that should be. I'd been working in pastoral ministry, I'd been pastoring a church for about the previous seven years, and I'd spent lots of time talking to people about who Jesus is and why it's, it's actually good and important to follow him. So as we kind of talked about making the most of that experience that God had given me, uh, and then talking about uh, the kind of marketplace at the moment, the idea was hatched that it would be great to write a book that would, you could give to somebody who's just on the verge of becoming Christian, who, who has just become a Christian, in order to explain to them what it means to follow Jesus and why that's important and valuable. There were a bunch of books on the market, but most of them are kind of 10, 20 or 30 years old now. We felt that there was nothing particularly fresh or contemporary that just explained what it meant to live the Christian life and to follow Jesus fully. Now, the main idea behind the book uh, is that Jesus is the king of everything, that he's the loving God who has given up his life for us, and that coming to serve him and know him and trust him means changing your life completely, starting to look at the world through God's eyes rather than through your own eyes. Now, the challenge of that, of course, is that it changes the way you think about everything. It changes everything from your sexual ethics to the way that you spend your money to the, even the things that you might do on the weekend. And of course, when someone takes that seriously and starts to change their life, their friends and family and the people around about them look at them a bit strangely. It's almost as if they've decided to turn upside down and start living life uh, on their head. Now, the main aim of the book is to say, actually it does turn your life around to follow Jesus, but you're not the one being turned onto your head, you're actually being turned right side up. And so as the book goes, we explain why Jesus' death is such a profound display of God's love, why his resurrection brings such hope and why the Holy Spirit actually causes us to live a new and different life, which is a good life. The change in the way that you think about how you spend your money, how you spend your time, how you use your body and your relationships uh, is actually a good thing. It's a profoundly good thing. Jesus turns life right side up. Now, as the book goes along, uh, we deal with a whole bunch of kind of the practical nitty gritty things of life. How do you talk to your family and friends who aren't Christian about the change that's gone on for you? What does it actually mean to make some of the changes? And we deal with practical things like how do you find a church? Uh, how do you make relationships and kind of start going along to a church? How do you read your Bible for yourself? And there's some notes in the back of the book to help people do that. And what kinds of things do Christians pray for and what does it mean to pray to God regularly? Now, the thing that surprised me most, I guess, in the process of writing the book and sharing it with others, was that as I gave it to people to kind of test read, the people who had been Christians for two, three years found it really helpful. But I gave it to some people who'd been Christian for 20 or 30 years, and they came back to me and said, you know, Paul, I've learnt heaps from reading this book, and it's really refreshed and encouraged me. And I think one of the things that I've realised even for myself personally, is that being reminded of the central things about who Jesus is, and how much he loves us and what his death and resurrection means is just what God needs every Christian person to hear. And so uh, I think it's a great book not to give to just someone who's just become a Christian, uh, but to anybody who needs to be just refreshed and reminded of what's good about following Jesus with their whole heart. Um, I found it a really enjoyable and helpful process writing it. I know lots of people who found it helpful reading it. And I'm praying that God will use it to help lots of people start to follow Jesus with their whole life. I hope that you'll read it, enjoy it, be changed by it, and give it away to others as well. Mm -hmm.